वेलकम टू स्पाइस कमाल द चैनल वेयर वी सिंपलीफाई रेसिपीज आई एम योर होस्ट नितिन एंड आई एम अगेन बैक विद अ वन फैंटास्टिक रेसिपी इस बार व्हाई वी हैव डन अ बेकरी और अ बेकिंग रेसिपी सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ डिलीशियस एंड डिलेक्टेबल बेकिंग रेसिपी आई विल जस्ट टेल यू व्हिच वन इट इज गोइंग टू बी बट बिफोर आई टेल यू दैट मेक श्योर यू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर प्रेस दैट थंब आइकन टू लाइक द रेसिपी and don't uh, forget to press the bell icon for the instant notification so we've been doing some international classic indian classic recipes maharashtrian classic baking recipes veg recipes on the channel so check those out and today's recipe is going to be the brownie so we are going to make nice fudgy gooey brownie and then we are going to flavor it with some walnut so it's going to be a walnut brownie so let's see what all we need for this recipe before we make the brownie or we bake the brownie we need to have we have a right a brownie tin or a cake tin so i am using a rectangular cake tin which i have lined with a baking paper so this is very essential otherwise you will have a tough time taking it out once it is baked so i have just cut the sides and lined the baking paper properly on a tray so the so the first step of the recipe is melting the chocolate and the butter together on the uh, double boiler or a bain mari you can call it so i have put the pan with the hot water on the hob or a gas so we going to melt the chocolate first and then add the 100 g of butter into it so this is around 200 g of chocolate so let us melt it and you will need for this recipe a uh, another bowl in which you will do the mixing of egg sugar and lastly to the flour and the cocoa powder so i'll explain you step by step in a description box the full recipe is also there our water is boiling on this water we are placing a bowl but you need to make sure the water doesn't touch the bowl and only the steam from the water will melt the chocolate so this may take around 5 minutes so you need to melt chocolate first and then add butter so chocolate is melted now it's time to add the butter to the chocolate so this is 100 g of butter and let us mix it together so now you can switch off the flame the heat from the water can melt this mixture just give it a good mix and then we will have to keep it aside to again bring it to room temperature by the time we will mix our eggs So this is our chocolate butter mixer. We are just keeping it on the side to let the temperature come little bit down, and we'll just mix our egg and the other ingredients. So first thing, take a clean bowl, whisk, add two eggs to it, to which we will add half a tablespoon of vanilla essence. So there goes the vanilla essence to eggs. give it a look. mix now goes half a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of regular granulated sugar and we need to just melt this in the egg and make a homogeneous mixture so while we are mixing this sugar and the egg mixture i have already put the oven on 180 degrees celsius for preheating so let us preheat our oven and give this a good quick mix now our egg sugar mixture is ready it's time to add the chocolate and melted butter mixture to it so let us fold in our chocolate and butter mixture nicely so it's time to sift in the flour Now in this recipe we have actually used half a cup of flour half a cup of cocoa powder and a half a teaspoon of baking powder now let us sift in this in our egg butter mixture now just fold in the flour So our brownie mix is ready. It's time to add the chopped walnuts to it. So I am adding 
almost all I have just saved little bit to put it on the top of the tray. So just give this a quick mix and we are ready to put this mixture in the lined baking tray. So just level this mixture evenly in the baking tray. Now it's the time to add the topping of walnuts on top as well. Let us bake this for 35 to 40 minutes in 180 degrees preheated oven. So our super delicious chocolate brownie is ready, it's got a nice crust, so we need to cut it but before we cut it, it has to be completely cooled down, so you have to let it cool and then we will cut it. So our super delicious fudgy chocolate walnut brownie is ready. And we have just refrigerated it for 30 minutes to cut nice square pieces. Very tasty, fudgy, gooey brownie that will give you your comfort. So if you like this super delicious brownie recipe, make sure you press the thumb icon. If you are new to the channel, press that subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever we do fantastic recipes like this, you get an instant notification. Until we meet again with the excellent recipes like this, stay happy, stay healthy and enjoy cooking.